Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Wes here, and we are back again with week 10 of the RCF. We are facing uh, Talon, coach of the Atlanta Braviaries, and this is a really important match. <laughs> um, if we win this match, we got playoffs. If we if we lose, Talon goes to playoffs. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's very important. <laughs> Like it's, it's, it's incredibly important that we win this match. So, uh, well, anyway, let's get it right into the team. I'm not hundred percent sure on this. I'm running some fun sets. Uh, that's kind of what I want to do with, uh, RCF anyway, it's just kind of run some fun sets, you know, I'm running rapid strike Urshifu, our newest member to the squad, Urshifu and Skarmory. We, we had our OU swapped this week. Everybody had their OU shuffled. So, uh, we have Urshifu, Rapistrock, and we have Skarmory. Uh, pretty solid, in my opinion. Uh, pretty decent, pretty decent. So, it gave us three fountains. So, I rerolled Cobalion, ended up with Rotom, or no. <laughs> ended up with a Jolteon. So, now we have three electrics. So, and literally, Jolteon is just a worse argue. I mean, that's just, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, there is some differences in them, but it's, it's, uh, it's unfortunate. <laughs> Anyway, we have our Shiva Rap Strike. We're rocking the King's Rock with Surging Strikes. This gives us a, around a 30% chance to flinch every time we hit. We're running max speed uh, with a beneficial nature in case we can outspeed uh, an enemy Urshifu that isn't max invested. Um, this is one of those times where max investment actually makes sense. I believe it actually lets us outspeed by one point on a certain mon or maybe i'm wrong i don't know it's just like we have the same speeds that uh our our fuse do so we're running uh max speed because of that um we're running a zamazenta now with that max speed zamazenta with adamant nature it gets one point above uh talon's fastest mon um so we can outspeed anything as long as it doesn't have a choice scarf and we get the adamant nature so that's really good uh, so that's why we're working out with that, uh, with close combat play rough crunch and iron head. Uh, we got Reiku, uh, with the choice scarf that, um, that is because I'm worried about a choice scarf on the other side. Um, uh, what, what one was it that, um, gave it? Oh yeah. Inteleon. So no, I'm not worried about a choice scarf. I'm worried about Inteleon. Um, Reiku can, uh, Fire off a Thunderbolt on the Inteleon and do over 50%, even at G-Max. So, we can kill the Inteleon um, if we need to. Toy Scarf allows us to outspeed. It's really, it's a really good set, in my opinion, uh, for that specific reason. Uh, we have G-Max Hatterene with Giga Drain, Dazzling Gleam, Mistwire, and Trick Room. Rocking out with a weakness policy. Uh, see if we can get a nice little uh, mini sweep with Hatterene at some point. That would be cool. We got Choice Scarf Pangoro as well with a uh, parting shot. Earthquake, Darkness Lariat. Uh, wait, why do we have Darkness Lariat? I should have knockoff. It's too late though. I dungeoned it in. Oh yeah, that's unfortunate. Then we're rocking out with a Sylveon with Substitute Calm on Baton Pass and Hyper Voice. Yeah, I I, this should really be knockoff. Or maybe, maybe... Yeah, it should be knockoff. Why, why, why do I not have knockoff? Huh. Yeah, that's just a misplay on my opinion. I, I may actually re. I may fix this one real quick. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna switch it to knockoff. Um. And then we're rocking out with a substitute called Mon Baton Pass Hyper Voice. Uh, so yeah. I thought, uh, I thought I swapped it to, hold on. I feel like I swapped this. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I swapped this. This should be wish and so I assume. Um, I'm pretty sure I swapped this. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be wish, but yeah, I got to fix that Pangoro for sure. Actually, I don't think these have the right, uh, yeah, these don't have the right EV spreads. I don't think. 
Anyway, this is the team we're rocking. Maybe not the exact uh, EVs, but this is the team we're rocking. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll see you guys here in a minute um, with the actual battle. Bye. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're fixing it into the battle here. Um, yeah, I fixed my uh, Pangoro, by the way. I did not forget. I'm, uh, I'm not a fool, uh, but um, we could not get the land timer to work, unfortunately. It's just a shame, honestly that we even have to do such means to to do anything in Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's just so unfortunate. Uh, but anyway, you guys are excited for the Draft League content. Let me know below. Um, hopefully we can make it to playoffs so that uh, we can continue in the RCF. <sighs> yeah. Using Team 2. Okay, I'm about ready to let the battle begin. Oh, man, I'm just trying to calm my nerves. <laughs> is this battle is so important, dude. Oh my god. Okay, let's just do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're gonna see what Talon's blank. Talon is blank. <laughs> Talon is bringing. Oh, Talon has a ditto. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I didn't know Talon had a ditto. Uh, sir? Since when? Uh, okay. Why did Monk not bring Ditto and Monks? Okay. Yeah, uh, that is a big problem. Actually. And Arcanine. Or am I, are we sure that Talon has a ditto? Like, I, I don't remember that at all. Did I miss that? I, did, I just, I don't, I, I, I don't remember that. Okay, we need to pick our lead. Um, based on this team. Reiku could be good. Yeah, let's go Reiku. Uh, I swear I don't remember that. Talon does not have Ditto. No, Ditto's not on here. Have Ditto. Bro, I mean, I, I, I may be wrong. I may be wrong. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, I don't know what to do here because I, I don't think you have did it. I really don't. Uh, we swap here, but you, you just got to predict that, right? All you had to do is predict the swap and you're in really good shape. Okay. Yeah. You don't have ditto. I'm going to, we're going to quit this battle. <laughs> we're going to cancel out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. God dang it, Talon. Now you know my team. No. Okay, we're back. Uh, I'm glad I noticed that. Otherwise, uh, we would have had uh, have to have a forfeit or something. I don't know what we would have done because if we would have done that battle and realized Ditto wasn't there, I, I really don't know. I'm glad I noticed that because I would hate for that to happen for for this match this match is crucial <laughs> it's really crucial so okay so uh brings to necrozma which is just so so much worse <laughs> or maybe not worse but uh 
so in that case, I think I may go Pangoro. Uh, I don't think Zamazenta's a play because of um, Necrozma. Now, originally, I was just going to go Zamazenta as my lead. Um, but then I seen the Ditto. I decided not to. Uh, but now seeing the Necrozma, I think I go Pangoro. Yep, there we go. Um, also, uh, yeah, that looks right. Uh, Urshifu, Rapid Strike, uh, or not Rapid Strike, Single Strike. I have Rapid Strike. Urshifu, Inteleon, Mammoth One, Urshifu, Single Strike, Arcanon, and Necrozma. Where's Necrozma? Okay. Yeah, uh, <laughs> super glad I noticed that. Azai is the restroom. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to pull up the damage cap for that. And let's get our Pangoro out here versus the Reshi Ram. Uh, and let's check. Earthquake does a good amount of damage. And we do have speed. I think we just go for a party shot here. Um, then we'll switch out into something uh, else. Um, like maybe... Oh, and you're not life orb. We need to make sure we're clear on that. Like maybe. Yeah. Oh my God. You do so much to everything. Sylveon is our best bet here. To eat a hit. Yeah. Sylveon's our best bet here to eat a hit. Yeah, blue flare. This is still gonna do so much damage and a burn. Oh man, that's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate, but uh, we can now slow pivot into something else, or we can set up a wish. We can set up calm mind. I think uh, I think we just slow pivot because we can't really calm mind freely. Yeah, we just slow pivot out. We just slow pivot out, um, expecting, um, I don't know what would come in on, uh, Sylveon, honestly. Maybe the Necro, uh, if it's physical. It's physical Necro. This goes for a straight up blue flare, which is respectable. Um, I am going to see what I can do now with Urshifu. Um... You're at minus one special attack. I think we just go for the surge of strikes for the Urshifu. Um, either that or how much does almost into do you? Not not enough to warrant going into that yet, I don't think. Yeah, let's go for the surge of strikes. We could get a flinch, which would be incredible. Um Certain strikes. Here we go. Here we go. So not much really wants to come in on certain strikes. I don't think. Not much really wants to take this. Necro comes out. Which is a really, really good play. I feel like. The Krozma at 50. Uh, we do have speed. And certain strikes will take it out, so we just go for it. Yeah. Nice.
It's a crit. It's a crit. <laughs> Surge attacks is strong, dude. Okay, Necrozma is down. Uh, it puts us in a really nice spot there. It do, it do. Katara comes out, which is the Inteleon. Hmm. Uh, that is interesting. Um, so I can see Inteleon going for a nice uh, Dynamax here. You can't kill me though. Unless I let you... Hmm. Uh, I do think we swap though either way. Uh, we could just swap into... Uh, we could probably tank a hit with Pangoro. Not really. <laughs> uh, I guess we could stack off Sylveon. Yeah, I think we stack off Sylveon here. Actually, goes for the double, actually. Okay. 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 Imagine I went for the close combat. Imagine I went for the close combat. Oh, my God. I almost did it, too. I almost did it, too. Wow, 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 wow. But it could uh, air slash for sure. I forgot about air slash. Gotta remember air slash. I uh, gotta remember air slash. I gotta remember air slash. Because that, obviously... <laughs> yeah, that's unfort. Uh, okay, I'm going to go for the baton pass here. Uh, I, I could see a uh, stealth rock coming out. Go through that spike. It does kill, I'm sure. I'm not even gonna think about it. I'm sure it kills. Yeah, it does. Okay. Um. So, <laughs> honestly, I feel like we just go into Zamazenta and fire off a hefty uh, close combat. Uh. Yeah. Empty close combat sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Because what comes in on a close combat? Nothing wants to come in on a close combat except for an Arcanine. Uh, yeah, and even then, what does Arcanine really do other than Willow? Uh, actually, I can two shot the Arcanine. Um, but if it's defensive Arcanine, I can definitely not two shot the Arcanine. <laughs> if it's defensive Arcanine, I definitely cannot. So, but if it's offensive Arcanine, I definitely can. Goes into the Ratchet Ram. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt the Ratchet Ram for sure. Yeah, that's a two shot. And we do outspeed no matter what, because you do not have Uber held on him. Because no one has those that this week, right? I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Let's go for a nice close combat. That takes down the Reshiram. Who comes out next? Probably the Arcanine. <sighs> Maybe even the Memo. Now that I'm minus one. Memo with me at minus one could probably do some work with Icicle Shard. Not really. Not even. Not even, bro. Not even. Not even, bro. What the hell? Oh my god. Zamazenta. Calm down, bro. <laughs> Zamazenta's crazy, bro. Okay, the Inteleon comes out. Um... Yo, actually... Dynamax, and let's put Air Slash on you. Uh, I think I need to get damage on this so that Reiku can kill it. Um, I am minus two special defense. Uh, I do think I need to get damage on you, but man, if... It's still good in this situation. It's still good, man. And that's why it kind of hurts to... Like, what could come in on this? Could Hatterene come in? No, it really can't. We could go into Pangoro. Pangoro's not much worse. I'm going to go into Pangoro. I feel like Zombies is worth keeping alive. 
I do think Zamazenta is worth keeping alive. So I'm going to go into the Pangoro. I know it's going to get plus one special attack, which is really unfortunate. Um, and I'm, I'm just going to sack this Pangoro off to the max airstream. Then we can go into Reiku. Uh, if this thing has mud shot. Whoa, 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 whoa. What if this thing has mud shot? Max Quake is not doing enough to one shot me. So I can kill it in two hits. So if it has weakness policy, uh, that puts us in a interesting situation. If it has a weakness policy, I think I just lose. <laughs> I think I just lose if it has a weakness policy. Can I even let it get the weakness policy? Uh, can I even risk that? I don't, I don't think I can even risk that. I think I have to go into hat instead and go for max overgrowth. Yeah. I feel like that's a safer play for sure. Because if I let it get the weakness policy, I'll lose here. I, it just sweat, it just sweets me for sure. So, uh, Max over at the actually is not enough to kill you. Wow. 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 So I'm going to go for the G max might to do damage. Yeah, I'm going to go for the G max might. I don't think you get a poison type attack. I hope not. So honestly, it would give me my eating this fall. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. That's a, uh, that's interesting. Uh, I don't really know what would happen, but I think this is the safest play. Go for the smart since the overall can kill that way. We don't have to worry about the weakness policy next turn. Is this super effective? It is not. No, this fairy is this dark, right? Right, 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 right. right. It does lower my special defense. So it's still a good play. Big confusion here. Come on, let me see it. Let me see it. Yeah, let's go. Uh, and then we just go for, yeah, I think we go for a smart, no matter what. Hurt yourself? No, of course not. <laughs> This is going to hurt a little bit. And now we're really low on the special defensive side, but as long as Hatterene can take out the uh, Antillion, that is the biggest problem we're going to face. All right, Antillion is down. That leaves Memo. Urshifu and Arcanine. All right. All right, sweet. That's it. Urshifu comes out. Uh, yeah. I'm actually survived. I'm surprised because if I kill, if you don't kill me, you should kill me. Yeah, you do. Okay, but, uh, Zama's into kind of just hard count counters this. Yeah, we go Zom. Zom pretty much cleans up here. A sucker punch. How much is sucker punch going to actually do to me? Gonna do 23 to 28% uh, before this. Wait, I got a defense boost. So yeah, it's not doing nothing. So I go for the. Mm, I feel like I go for the close combat so I don't have to worry about the miss. Yeah, I'm gonna go. The, I'm gonna go for the close combat so I don't have to worry about the miss. Uh, this thing could be focus dash, which would be a really good play. Goes into the Arcanine. Okay. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But like I said, Arcanon can't really, isn't really a hard counter to this. Because I can literally two shot it. Even with the attack drop. And if you go in, if you swap out, then something else dies. <laughs> if you swap out, something else dies. So, yeah. Takes down the Arcanon there. Uh, does that allow Memo? Swan to survive if I'm minus one attack. It does not 
Well, actually, it is a row. It's 81.3% chance. So, what about the Urshifu? Um... Yeah, 50. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm just staying in close, but close combat at this point, I think. I'm just staying in close, close combats. Uh, Mamoswan is scarfed. That almost kills me. But it does not. And is that Sash? No, I got a low row. Bro. <laughs> Mammoth one, why? Okay, he could have some defensive investment, but that was 81.3% chance to Oka. So that's really unfortunate there. Um, there's no reason to keep this thing alive, I don't think. Actually, we could just whack, sack off the Reiku. Um, because Zamazenta guarantees the win against Urshifu. Yeah, we sack off the Reiku, actually. That's the play. We sack off the Reiku. Because Zama's into gear and use the win against the Urshifu. And then I can go into my Urshifu here. Um, God, Earthquake does a lot, though. And I'm going to go for certain strikes because I don't want to lower my defense. Earthquake is still going to do a lot. Just kidding. I was at, I have, I'm calcum for Adam and Choice Man with my attack. This is most definitely not that. Oh, that animation is so sick. So sick. Uh, I think I got this. Uh, uh, Zom guarantees the win unless the Urshifu is scarfed. And I don't think it is. Uh, based on earlier interactions. But we will see. We will see. Actually, it might have been a better idea to keep Reiku alive. The Sucker Punch is not going to kill me. No. I should have went for the close combat then. Yeah, I should have went for the close combat. On that then. I guess I should have had. I really... I don't... I don't know. Yeah, I, I should have definitely went for the close combat. Why did I go for the close combat? What? Okay, well, I, uh, mm. it, yeah, it's definitely not scarfed because of the sucker punch, right? And sucker sucker punch can't kill Zamazenta. No way. No way. Right. Right. Nah, surely not. We're at 34. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man. Yeah, we're at 20% exactly. So we just narrowly miss out on the chance. Even if it's choice band, if it's adamant though, it does have a chance to kill. Go for the close combat. Sucker punch. We do survive that on seven, which was guaranteed unless he was adamant. If he was adamant, he had 18.8% .8 chance to Oko. That's it. So, good game. I feel like maybe the Reiki was the better play. <laughs> Looking at it now. Um, but I still think it was a good play. I should have just went for the close combat with the Urshifu Rabbit Strike. Um, I don't know why I didn't, actually. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. 
I feel like I feel like me and Monk mocked that and like there was no way uh post combat killed but I guess I was wrong I just I, I, I don't know I guess I was wrong I guess I was wrong on that um GG GG to Talon be sure to check him out I did make some mistakes in this I shouldn't I I, I think I should have kept the Reiku I do I think I should have just sacked off Samazenta and then went into Rapid Strike and I definitely should have went for close combat instead of Rapid Rapid Surging Strikes or whatever I guaranteed the win if I would had I don't know why I didn't um I literally don't know why I didn't Maybe uh, I bet I here's what it was. I was calking for rabbit stock Urshifu. Um, yeah, I was calking against a rabbit stock Urshifu, and my close combats weren't a guaranteed kill. Yeah, they was only doing seventy percent. So uh, that's why I was going for certain strikes to try to flinch it. I guess I don't know. I think I did that when I was preparing my team. Um, yeah, I think that's what it was. Either way, we got the win. That's all that matters. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out Talon. Uh, thank you guys so much. I love you guys, Seth. And I will see you guys in my next one. We're going to playoffs, baby. Bye!